Starting the vlog in Monsters parking lot's a little different, but I was at work late today. Work was working, you know. So uh, let's go judge a league challenge. Yeah, this is the last event I need for stage one that I can reapply. So just stay at basic and call it a day. I cut him backwards, no. Did you really? Yeah, it doesn't take much though. There we go, we're good again. 20 people for tonight's flea challenge here at Monster Games. Championship points on the line. Glory on the line. Mike playing Greninja tonight. At some point he's just gonna learn the deck's not good. We can only lead him, you know, so much. A Pokemon trade in the little binder's crazy. Like the stuff in here is oh, there's an all star rev of room. Isn't that like 70 cents? That's the, pretty bad. The all star is? Thank you. No They're way. Really low. I thought they were at least like five or six. Yeah. Giving me life. There's a random laboon in this binder. It's a Japanese all tart laboon. I don't know how much you could sell it for, but. He doesn't know that I have it. He left it on the counter. It's Coles. It's Coles now. It's Coles. He still doesn't know. Five rounds tonight here at Monster. We are currently in round three. We're in round three, right? What? We're in round three, right? Round four. We're in round four. We're in round four. No penalties given out so far tonight. We de-escalated one. That's about it. Been pretty uh, smooth sailing so far. It's been a long day. Your boy is tired. Pokemon players, final round pairing. Going up now. I said the other day, Hoodie Season's where I thrive. Usually it's just for playing prize packs. Today, it's just for judging prize packs. Wow. What are you doing? I was trying to... There we go. Simon trying to mess up the whole thing over here, dude. You're the one who hooked it around my back. Did I, though? They're not that expensive. I looked, they're like three bucks. They're cool though. They would help me Cosmo out ancient box. Not that I play. Are you trying to say that you want the Roaring Moon? No. Bro, are you covering the QR code? Yeah, dude, I gotta make sure. Double gonna... Turo Pack? Ew. I have the stamped one, so it doesn't really matter. And another energy. Stamped energy is gas. What are we doing? Final pack have something for me here. Pokemon players, you have 30 minutes, you may begin. Team Evo's okay, I guess, but Boss's Orders has been, I think, in every single prize pack so far. Yeah. You get another foil on it? Yeah. Nice. We also got a staff card, Fraligator from Temporal Forces. I wanted another Tatsugiri, but he didn't have any, so here we are. My top four. Or my top eight. Good oh, shot. I don't think you made it. I did. I'm seventh. You made it? Seventh? Made it not bubble. There you go, Mike. Kevin, what place are you in? Four. Top four, four is getting 20 in store credit as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Fifth. Fifth. Thank you. And then 10 bucks in store credit, too. Uh, third. You're getting 20 bucks in store credit on top of that, too. Thank you. William Raging Bolt VMAX. <laughs> what place? Uh, uh, six. That dude would be damn tall. Thank you. Raging Bolt. You'll get 10 bucks in store credit. <laughs> August, you're getting that plus 20 in store credit. Cool. Thank Matt, you. You're getting that plus 10 in store credit. Thank you. Thank you. No you're problem. That 
after the buy round one? Yeah, nice. Um, you're getting that in 20 in the store crowd. That's an easy day at the office. Shop's closed. Okay, it is officially Wednesday. It is One Piece Night at Monster. I do have a few tweaks that I'm making to Charlotte Pudding to play in tonight's tournament. People have been telling me to play the Viola, so I am gonna take a look at that, see where I can kind of work that in. I do think that I am gonna take out Miss All Sunday. Unfortunately, I just don't think that it affects the game as much as I would like it to. Uh, a few players last week also told me to try out the six drop Sanji from OP06, because you can find it off of the one drop pudding searcher, and it's a 2K counter. So there's a few changes that I wanna make to the deck. I just pulled out a ton of cards. That's why there's a few bulk boxes behind me, and uh, I have some cards that I'm selling to people. So let's get the monster. I am here early strictly so I can just lay out my deck and kind of pick through and see what I need to change. Okay, changes to the deck this week. I think the Missile Sunday are going to come out completely. I'm going to put in four of these Viola. These flip my light base down, and it's a blocker, so it just comes in handy. And it's a 1k counter that I didn't have in the deck before. I think I'm going to replace one ace and go two ace, four big mom. Like I said last week, it always just feels correct to play the big mom over the ace when I had it in hand. So I think playing four of these is just going to be better overall. Finally, I want to work in these Sanjis, and I just I don't know exactly what to cut. Okay, I think I got it. I think I'm gonna cut these four cards for the Sanjis. Uh, Sanjis are 2k counters, so they replace the Frankies that were the one of the only 2k counters in the deck. I really like this card. I was playing four of it. I don't know if I need four with the amount of top in that I have. And then I was playing this counter, I was playing this at four. I don't really know if four is correct, but I think replacing a 3k counter with a 2k counter that's also a blocker could be okay. So let's try it out for the week, you know? We are. I have to. <laughs> Don't tell me that's what you're playing. I have to. You ready to lose this down pair, Luke? No, hopefully not. You probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> we did, in fact, win the down pair against Luke. Katakuri to gain a Don to put on pudding, to swing with pudding, to flip two over and ramp just feels really good. I think I feel like I'm starting to get a groove with the deck, right? But I don't know. I'm 1-1. One, one. We'll see. I couldn't have played this guy. He's playing Big Mom. Oh, yeah. So I could end up playing him next round because he's also 1-1. One, one. It'll be great. He has like 30-something triggers in his deck. I don't know if it'll actually be great or not. For some reason, this portion of the vlog just doesn't have audio, but in this situation, Chris just hit three. You're the one who just appear off of life back to back to back with an L in order to win because, well, he's a luck sack. And then in round four, finally, I get to play Matt playing Rob Lucci. And let's see how this goes. Another week, another 2-2 two -two at one piece with Pudding. Round one, I lose to Black Yellow Luffy. It's a really hard matchup. Uh, round two, I was able to beat Black Yellow Luffy that time around by just dropping Big Moms. Like, it was kind of nuts. Round three, I played Dofi. Same thing, like, Big Mom back to back to back turns. Like, what does somebody do in that situation? Round four, I play Luchi. Really close game with Matt. And, uh, well, I played the Yellow Newgate that let me rearrange my life. And I ended up putting my life backwards. So the new gate lets you rearrange your life. Uh, in my life, I had a viola, I had a you're the one that should disappear, and I had a capone. The way that I was supposed to put them back was going from top to bottom. Viola, capone, you're the one that should disappear. The way that I ended up putting them back, because the viola was already face up, I put viola, you're the one who should disappear, capone. So imagine my surprise when Matt swung and I go to grab what I think is a beige and it's you're the one who should disappear. And honestly, that lost me the entire game. I was still able to survive a few turns. Uh, I think possibly I had a shot at it if I were to draw like a big mom maybe or something along those lines, but we just didn't get there. Just really aggravating when it's something that I know that I'm in a winnable position and I just... I guess like, what do you even call that? A misplay, I suppose? Like, it's gotta be a misplay, right? And I just didn't pay attention and that lost me the entire game. So a little bit tilted because again, that's fully on me and I know exactly what I did wrong. But oh well, we live, we learn. Maybe I play Black Luffy next week. 
I don't know, we'll see. I definitely still have to go to the drawing board with putting a little bit. Uh, the changes that I made tonight, I do like a lot. I just don't know if it's still the right list, if that makes sense. It's just like a constant like ebb and flow of trying to find what works best. All right, time to go home. Bye, Kelly, I'll see you next week. Ending the vlog on a little bit of a different note this week. So obviously over the last few months, I've switched from doing TikTok to doing more long form content over here on YouTube. And with that being said, this week I've officially hit the point where I could become a YouTube partner. So really, I just wanted to end the vlog saying thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. With being a YouTube partner, I am now offering YouTube memberships as well. With that membership, you'll get unique badges and emojis that just show that you're affiliated with the channel. I did want to offer a few unique things as well. So I'm going to start doing a bi-weekly Q and A with all of my members. What this is, is pretty much you ask me a question in my discord. It can be about anything, life cards, you name it. And I will answer it in a video every two weeks. I feel like this perk can help us connect beyond cards and you can get to know me a little better beyond cards and I can get to know you a little better. I'm also offering a pick a deck function. What that is, is you give me a Pokemon card or a one piece leader to build a deck around and I will build the deck and then take it and try it out at locals that week. Now, that being said, it is going to be at random and it is going to be dependent on, you know, if I have the cards to build with. But if you really, really want to see me try out a certain Pokemon, try out a certain leader, just let me know. Like I can always order cards, no big deal. Just know that there may be a delay in the actual playing of that deck. But I wanted to make sure that there was no content behind this quote paywall, you know? While I would appreciate you becoming a member and I appreciate that support, you just watching my videos is enough for me, if I'm being completely honest. So either way, member or not, just know that I appreciate you and thank you for your constant support. And I'll see you next week.